outline and components of project proposal. We have here the part one of outline and component of a project proposal. First one here, we have here the title page. And these are the things that can be found on your title page. The project title, the name of the organization and the partner involved, and name of the sponsor whom the project proposal will be presented to. Second one, abstract or summary. A short wrap-up, an overview of your project proposal. Contain the problem, objectives, implementing organizations, key project activities, potential time frame, and the budget needed. The third one, introduction. Problem and solution should be written in it. Number four, justification. Contain the evidences, gathered researches, and data. Information necessary to justify your project proposal. The fifth one, we have here the schedule and budget layout. This lays out the timeline of your project proposal. Number six, monitoring and reporting plan. This shows how things will would be followed upon and checked through. Number seven, list of personnel. These are real people, not ghost workers, who are able men and women who will be tasked to work to achieve desired results of project proposal. The last one, conclusion. This summarizes your project proposal. Moving on to your part two of outline and components of project proposal. Section one, project information. We have heard the name of the organization, project title, Project summary, project time frame, prepared by, attached documents, and the project contacts. These are the things that can be found on your project information. We have here the section 2, project summary, and these are the things that can be found on your project summary. First one, this is the goal and objective. Why are you doing this project? What will you be doing? How will you be doing it? Where will it be done? How long will it take? And how much will it cost? Next one, we have here the Section 2, Project Background. Include references and statistics in this section. No longer than one page. Project Objective. Use this section to explicitly list the goals that the project is to achieve. Section 3, Project Methodology. This is where you detail the plan for how the objectives mentioned in the previous section will be achieved. It details the course of action to remedy the problem and is meant to improve that adequate research has been done for this decision. To be used, the population being addressed and establish the process for teaching or reaching your objectives. Section 3. The Project Approach Summary Use a few sentences to describe the overall approach to the project. Organize team tools used changes address. 2. Task breakdown and time estimates. Detailed schedule presented. Make a list about it. We have here the project delivered. This is where you list out all the the labourables you expect to see after the project is closed can be a product, information, or reports that you plan to deliver to a client. Project Risk Management in Section 4 Dedicated to managing change during project execution. First one, Risk Management Plan. A detailed plan of action to minimize the change of risk or change during the project life cycle risk register a line item list of risk and potential counter efforts that will be used to counteract this the project cost in section 5 project budget this should be a detailed line item budget broke up by different project categories such as travel salary or supplies 
budget narrative. This is a brief list of commentaries on the budget if any further clarification or justification is needed. We have here the last one in section 6. It intends to be a brief review of all the points already discussed. This is your last chance to win over your audience, so ensure that you incorporate the most important evidence to receive approval. This is also the final moment moment to prove you have adequately researched all solutions and your proposed method is the best for business. And Appendix. This section is dedicated to any additional charts, graphs, images, or reports that were cited in the proposal. Many times, reference material will be going into it in appendix as it does not naturally fall into the main body or copy of the proposal.